So let's get our trusty instruction paper out. And uh, we see that we're supposed to use these tools. Luckily, through the magic of planning things out, we've got a whole bunch of tools here. <clears throat> so it says you have to split up the stamp belt into three uh, separate belts. Um, and the way they're showing doing this is that you've got to actually use a knife to do that. Yeah, you have to use a knife, you can't just pull them apart. Um, it's probably best not to do it here. <laughs> do you have a, like a, a, something to lean on to do it? I'll do it off camera, don't worry. Can't see it? No, it sure Hang on. I'd rather not ruin it though, as well. It'd be funny if I screwed up. You're gonna find it all. Fuck you. Right, so after the arduous task of <laughs> splitting it up, which, uh, which I struggled with, didn't I? Yes. That's not true, Adrian Somehow did it. Adrian did it because he wanted to destroy it. He knows that he's got this latent, wanton destruction um, built up inside. I tried to save it. Now, um, you have to put together the dials. So this is part. It isn't this look the same? That's strange. Well, this is part B. These two look like part C, and this is part A. And the idea is that this part A goes through part C. This is what I said. Part C goes right. <laughs> and goes through like this. The other part C is here, and B should go like this. I'm basing it just on what I'm seeing here. If it's wrong, um, I can just uh, phone Nichimo and they will tell me. Nichimo is a real company. We just checked it on the internet just now. Uh, and they still do update their website. Uh, it had the 2012 uh, date and latest news up there. So check it out. What is it? Nishimo.com or something ridiculous like that. Um, you looked at it and you made an interesting comment. What did you say? Still looks like a website from the 90s. <laughs> it does indeed. Uh, and I said, gifs. as I jokingly said, does it have animating GIFs? I scroll down and yes, it does. Sure enough. But then Robotech.com has animated GIFs and looks like a website from the 90s. This is not that bad, is it? Um, okay, so now um, the challenge is what order are these supposed to go in? I guess we're supposed to look at this. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. We're, sp we're supposed to look at this, okay? So. Uh, yeah, it says it only takes five minutes to make. I call BS. Well, we're 15 minutes into it. You're judging by that, that timer that's on there, right? <laughs> no. That's funny, I don't see anything that matches what I'm looking at here. What the hell? Hey kids, you wanna play with Macros toys? Yeah, transforming robots! What the hell is this? I hope this is right. This looks right to me. Okay. Um, now I think I've aligned them properly. Maybe. Hmm. 
。ラビジュンと文字の向きを間違えないようにしましょう。Let's try not to make a mistake in terms of the order in which these are supposed to go in. Okay? Okay. It reminds you. It goes out of its way. Don't be an idiot. This goes through here. Shaft! Um, and then it's just a case of putting this all together with these、uh, screws here. This is the top part. Right, so we've got we to put that in here. And then this goes in between here. And, and this is the trick part. You're supposed to stretch it. So. The challenge here is not trying to make it snap. <laughs> Buy me another one. Oh man. Okay, that's not so taut, I think. Aha, I think. It's all starting to come together. That's kind of weird. But to move the outer one, you have to move the one in the middle. And to move the one in the middle, you have to move the other. Oh shit. No! <laughs> right. I told you it's safer in the box. Quite you. We're gonna print our own messages. Ooh, they're all different lengths. Okay, so you've got、uh, long ones and short ones. That's what you s a y The long ones go at the front. I think. Doesn't need to be overly tight, I guess. Okay. We're getting there. ハルグアイを平等にします。So... Uh, yeah, you're supposed to make sure that they're all evenly stretched. Hey, hey, history in the making. Has anyone ever made one of these before? No, never, never ever. So,、uh, let's begin writing our own messages. With macros. Right, let's get a piece of paper. You say you got ink, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so here we have the ink, which we're not going to use.、Um, we have traditional Japanese Hanko Inkan、uh, red ink. I mean, later on I'll probably just wash it off and use proper blank ink. Um, what do you want to write? Let's begin. What's going to be the first maiden voyage message of the. What was it? Was that a thunder lightning strike? No. no.、Uh, yeah, we've been having crazy weather today. So, Macros, what's going to be your first message? Is it going to be, oh, I love Macros? Or, Ranker sucks? All hail, c a m o r i How about Carl m a s o n Oh no. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't go there. Let's send a message of love. I've got one. I've got one.、Um, this might take a while. Where's L? Right, so the, <laughs> the other thing is that. These aren't really in any order. They're sort of in alphabetical order, but kind of, but maybe not. And sometimes you've got some of the more common letters repeated, like E, you got twice.、Um, it's really a struggle to find where the letter is first, and then you've got to make the,、uh, the transition to that. So I want to type this letter. I know it's here.、Um, yeah, and then you've got to figure out which of these corresponds to which belt, because. You would think that the middle one controls the middle belt, but it doesn't. It's the, the outer dial that controls the middle belt.、Uh, so, 
let's go on with this. This is X, right? So we're we're up there. So we want to go. We're going to go back. Um, Q L. Okay. Oh, but you can't because. Where's the blank? I want to type a blank. Okay, so when you print them, according to the guide, it's like this. I, I had to put it all back together because the, the belts were all out of order. Um, but when you print them, according to the guide, this is supposed to be facing you. So then it will come out the right side up, I believe. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. Shoulder. Sorry. <laughs> Ta da! What'd you write? L I. Um, give me time and it will be something. Well, I know why they didn't reissue this. There's no kids that have the attention span long enough to actually bother going through every single letter of a language that they can't understand, just so they can encode it back into a language that nobody can understand. I bet there's one guy we know that probably knows this thing back and forth. Who? Oh, him? Yep. Number one, Macros fan. And when you say we know, I mean, we know of his ex existence. We don't actually know his name. his name, what he does for a living, how he can get that many days of work. Uh, I'll have an E, please, Bob. Do you know that reference? Jeopardy? Uh, no. In the UK, there used to be a game show called Blockbusters. Have you ever heard of that one? No. Um... Well, there was one. <laughs> Sums that up. Well, the problem is that not every letter is on every belt, and therefore you're going to have to be um, doing maybe two letters at a time, maybe less. Exciting fun, boys and girls. I made a mistake. You want to try it? I wanted to write listen to my song. That was way too <laughs> ambitious. We would have been here forever. Try it. It's fun. <laughs> It better be a like a three or four letter word though, because um, even though I've been waiting for this three decades, it's getting kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, okay, which one's the top? Okay, this one looks at me, right? This side's towards me. So yeah, the, yeah. The letter starts from here. Goes to this way. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna write VF two SS. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have to think of something else now. Metal sign, you guys. So predictable, Optimus.
Yeah, of course, like, the F's on this side, the V's on this side. Right, exactly. <laughs> you think you're able to do it three letters at a time. You're not. It don't work that way. Oops, hang on. Hang on. <coughs> Bless you. Did you type something? I thought I did. It didn't come out. No, I didn't. Why is it like having such a problem focusing on? <coughs> it's not aligned or anything, because we're not using the paper. Yeah. Isn't it exciting, kids? <laughs> Can you imagine if your dad had bought you this? I Son, I know you like macros. Oh my god, a Chogokin Valkyrie! 155 Takatoku? What could this be? No, we bought you something educational! <laughs> oh, dad! You shouldn't have. Really? You'll pay for this. <laughs> The reason this hasn't been opened is because some kid probably said, Yeah, thanks, Mom. And just stuffed it in the back of his like laundry box or something. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> During the spring cleaning, he took it out and said, Oh, yeah, this pile of crap. I wonder who in Mandaraki wants it. Maybe a couple of gaijin are going to come over. <laughs> From some other continent. We think it's some sacred holy grail. This almost makes me want to just open mine. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. You've, you've pretty much ruined, ruined it. it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. This is almost like... If you watched a show that you really loved as a kid and tried to understand it now, um, what was I thinking when I was dressing up as a Thundercat? Oh, well, I would have thought that about you, when you if you would have dressed up as a Thundercat. I did. I have a photograph of uh, cosplaying as Lionel. It was a really intricate costume. I was maybe like four or five. I had the Sword of Omens and everything. Yeah. Well, it's starting to make more sense now that I'm using it. But still. <laughs> like, what order are they supposed to be in, those letters? There's got to be... A rhyme or reason. I think, uh... You talk ahead anything to do with this? Yeah. I'm sure he got it. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. But what do you think? I mean, it's really interesting the thought process that must have gone through the uh, the board meetings over at Nichimo. What have we made as an Trotty Step Kid? Uh, okay, we've been working on. Uh, miniature replicas of the Yamato, of uh, Macross and other things like that. Um, sure, Stampkins, why not? You broke it. Well, that's my attempt at VF1S. I think I did it. <laughs> it doesn't want to focus. So maybe you would have enjoyed it more if you kept it uh, unopened? No, this is really enjoyable.
<laughs> you don't sound very convinced. I know, um, but I am. I, I'm really glad that we had the experience of opening this up, seeing how it works, and trying to, you know, in our ADD lifestyle, make yeah. a short message. Was that VF1S, right? Yeah. So, final verdict? I wish I'd never found it. <laughs> it's archaic. We had fun. This was a good day. Yes, it was. It's a good. It's a perfectly good toy to, uh, you know, wait out a storm with, because that's what we were doing. There's that's a what we were doing today, this. and this is something we could take out of the box, take out of the packaging, have to screw together. So state case of uh, the wanting is better than the having. I don't know. I enjoy both both separately. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the story of the Holy Grail. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Jonah, join us next decade for something else that we will find. And break apart. Yeah, what other crazy things have been released like that that we think are so great? I don't know, wasn't there a Macros kite or something that we could fly one day? No, I have the Yamato inflatable kite. I don't wanna, I don't but, let's go for it. Take out to the park and film. <laughs> I think that'd be good. Alright. So, this was a good day. Uh, so, afterthoughts? Maybe uh, regrets? Well, Michael Bay, after you raped my childhood, I mean Renato. <laughs> um, Don't compare me with that thing. At least I will always have my pristine, unopened, some trotty colors. Until you turn your back! And until one day I'm bored enough to do what we just did. <laughs> because it was not that fun. Mm. To think we could have been out uh, hunting Megazone 23 locations. Instead, it was raining outside, that's why we cancelled it. Yeah. So, no, okay, your impressions, you're the one that put it together. Was, was it worth the 30 year wait? Was it fun taking it out the package and ripping the blister pack off the cardboard backing and smelling <laughs> that 30 year old trapped air with inside the bubble? Uh, yeah, actually I enjoyed myself. I like these really strange, quaint little uh, products. I, I don't really understand like I said before, what the thought process was that led to this actually getting manufactured. I mean, who thinks, hey, maybe kids want to play with a Zentradi stamp kit? Just the fact that some random drunk employee's mumbling actually became a product, for me, Finding that product, holding it in my hands, and actually using it is, uh, I think, all I wanted to do. It's not like I'm going to be sending any secret messages to anyone. Uh, I really think that just the existence of this is, uh, is a real crazy... Um, it almost encapsulates a lot of the craziness of the 1980s. There were lots of really, really weird merchandising decisions that you probably wouldn't see today. So if it's just existence that makes you happy, why did you have to open it? Because I really want to see if it worked and how it worked. You really wanted to make the stamp say, listen to my song. I realized halfway through, and when I say halfway through I mean after the third letter, that uh, I wasn't going to have enough time <laughs> to do all that. Because you would actually have to memorize the Centrati to make it. It would probably be more efficient, efficient to do that. To be that, like, yeah. oh, I know this is a yeah, yeah. this is where, here. Oh, oh, oh. Like, well, this one looks like a fish. And, and to be honest, they made like it, but they did make it as easy as they could. Um, they've got the uh, uh, 
uh, all the letters and in what order they're supposed to be in printed on the underside. I just don't understand why they didn't put it in alphabetical order to begin with. I mean, even along the side, you have to look for the letter that you want to print. And that's... You have to basically memorize the order that they've chosen to print them in. It's kind of strange. I mean, there must be some kind of method, but I don't know what it is. But is this part, the alignment of the letters, is that for just using it in real life? Um, so you, so on this chart you look at what Romaji you want to use, and um, and then you you look at this at what letter you're on, and that way you can tell how far up or down you have to move the dial uh, to get to the, your chosen letter. So even if you memorize the Zentrali, it doesn't really help because you don't know how far along those belts the Zentrali character that you want to use is. Well, now that I know how this turned out, I want to go back to what I said earlier, and I'm glad I didn't pay more than 1,000 yen for this. I paid more than 1,000 yen. I paid 2,000 yen for this one. But, um, but I'm still happy to have it, because it's still one of those things I can take to and show Macross fan. And go, oh, I have this. I don't understand why it would lower the value of, of it for you, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't, wouldn't have taken it out. Um, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> that was just so draining watching you. I think it's kind that. of, I've taken a lot of the mystique away from it, right? As long as it was enshrined in your closet up there, yeah. encased in plastic, it was always, uh, it, it always had something like, this has the potential to be good. I choose not to let the, the worms out of the can. I choose not to open the box of Pandora. Um, I choose to keep it inside. But I know, should I ever decide to open it, it will be the greatest thing ever. And now you know what is inside, and you're like, well, meh. Yeah, the design is fine. They should have made it so that you can only move two on the top and one on the bottom. Especially since this one's so close. Well, for me, it was the outer one moves the middle one. I don't really understand that one. Wow. Yeah. It's big. It's not it's big for a kid. I mean, it's my size. But if you were a kid, it'd be kind of big. How many kids do you think actually enjoyed playing with this? Because you've got to know English. Well, you're gonna at least, at, least, at least be familiar of familiar with the, how the Romaji system works in conjunction with hiragana. Yeah. Nowadays, with the cell phones, everybody would have no problem with it. But back then, in the 80s, oh. yeah. Yeah. I mean, people people nowadays when they type on a computer, they basically spell things out in Romaji, and then they uh, they encode it into Japanese. So. Learning all that, all the, the, the stuff that's on the, on the charts that I showed you, would be quite a daunting task. And you've got to know all that before you can even try to master this. I wonder how many they sold. Oh, yeah. This marathon is, the phone is, de is uh, decomposed. The only thing keeping it together is the um, muddy ink. Otherwise, if you blew on it, it'd probably just fly away. I'm trying to breathe it in. I think you always scrape this out and put a new pad in it. That's true. I'd rather leave it like that. Okay. Christine. If you've gone this far, you might as well just hot rod it out. What do you think? Uh, blown your mind? No, mind is not blown. Now you know why this wasn't exported under the Robotech brand. 
Yeah, but they wouldn't have had to re-sculpt anything. Yeah, they would have to re-sculpt the, the Macross logo. Yeah. It's that one. Mm. Oh, Rick. I wonder what that says here. Oh, my gosh. So are you going to try to translate that? Well, this? No, the one message that you're a master if you can do this. In two you're days. A, you're a master if you can do this in two days. No way. I'm not going to go through all that. You're going to you're going to first of all see how many different combinations of those crazy ass shifting of the alphabet orders and substitutions they have decided to do. Oh. Maybe they're only shifting every other letter and every other letter they're keeping the same. And then they're splitting them up maybe by consonants and vowels. That's not even anything to do with Dentrati anymore. It's just like adding layers of difficulties. And I'll probably say I was saying wind talkers. <laughs> I'm training, I'm training wind talkers. Nichimo, the best model maker in Japan. And you can even get graded on how fast you do these? Yeah, yes, okay, so that's one last thing that I forgot to, to mention. So the back page mm -hmm. has a Zentrali Kente, which is kind of like the equivalent of TOEFL, TOEIC score for Zentrali. So, the Zentradi Language Proficiency Test. If you, uh, what is that? So, if you can manage to type 450 letters in one hour, or more, then you are A class. 180 or more in one hour, you are B class. 90 or more, you are C class. And if you manage to translate, or encode, or decode, yeah, um, what is it? If you decode nine, more than 900 in one hour, then you are a class. But it's got pretty insane because it took me a good 10 minutes to type like three letters. There's no way I can do like 90 or 400 or whatever the hell they're talking about. Then you didn't even open this. Well, that I'm not going to open. No. I'm going to keep it pristine. Well, I probably will at some point, but we know it. It's just paper. Should I post it? We should post it. Somebody. Send it to somebody? Yeah. Send it to Carl Mathew. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> Send it to uh, Kawamori. Hey, Kawamori. Yeah, I wrote thing. you this. <laughs> and what if you <laughs> I wrote you this message. It can be zero, zero. Mm. And then what if he writes back? Instant Friday. <laughs> right back in Badger or something. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, you're gonna learn how to use this, you're gonna be like fast at it, efficient at it, and then finally it's gonna snap on you. You're yeah. gonna show up over here saying, I need a favor. I really I'll need swap you this one. your band. <laughs> and you'll be like, yeah, okay, it's shit, anyway, here, have it. <laughs> I already opened it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the luster is kind of gone now. <laughs> because, um, the but mystery granted, is gone. Granted, granted, I had, I did get to show it to you and see your reaction, and now it's kind of like, oh. Well, now you saw my reaction playing though. Yeah. Um, is this on Macros World, this, this thing? Uh, I don't know. Part of the site? I've never seen it though. I don't even know what, I guess, miscellaneous products it would go under. Stamp. Across stamp. But, comes with, you know, settings. Comes with work for you to do. You got some Valkyries here, Gerwaps, uh, Destroids, even a Destroid Monster. So, I mean, you do get art. That's not so bad. You got Brita, you got Claudia, Kakizaki. Look at that tetanus inducing. The, oh, this tetanus. is the, uh, the rusty. I don't want to touch that. Yeah, that's the rusty you're talking about. Yeah. The destroyers.
Yeah, that's my favorite type of binding for diligence, staples. Rusty staple? Yeah, rusty staples. Rusty staples. Yeah. There you have it. This is all yours. Well, thanks for ruining my... No, I'm happy I still have mine sealed in the box. I'm not regretting opening mine up.